Hello, today I will show you how to extract texture from an image and how you can apply this texture to other objects in a painting or design. First thing we are going to do is import an image with the texture that we want. In this case, we are using this leaf that is here. If you look at this leaf, you can see all these textures that are here, all these veins. That's what we want to extract and that's what we are going to apply to a text. This text that we've written here and this design that is here. So, after you've imported the image, what you want to do next is change it to grayscale. So just click, tap and hold on the leaf layer, then add filter mask, then go to adjust. You can either select a uh, hue saturation and value or desaturate. In this case, we'll use desaturate, they are the same. Then after this, the next thing we want to do is alter the contrast of this image in order to make this texture pop. You might have an image uh, that uh, with the textures, they don't show very clearly. So you can use contrast in order to make the textures pop. So what we want to do next is click and hold this leaf layer, then add filter mask and levels. Okay. You can now use these levels to change the contrast of this leaf that is here. So just adjust as you like. We're going to lighten it a bit. And then increase the darkest darks. As you can see, the textures are now very clear and the background is white. Then click OK. We're satisfied with this one for now. The next step is to remove this background that's here. So in case after applying texture, you, you the background is still a bit gray, you can just use your color picker tool and select the color of the background. Then in the next step, I'll show you what you can do. After you've selected the color, come down here to foreground and background color and copy this, copy this code that is here. Then next, you click on this leaf layer again, click and hold it, add filter mask. Come down here to colors and color to alpha. As you can see, the background has disappeared. Because the color was already white, all the whites have disappeared now, leaving only the blacks. In, uh, in case there was still color after you change your own contrast and you copy that code, you can now come here to color sampler and you can paste it here and that color will also disappear. You can also change the threshold here. In this case, we are going to leave it at 100. Okay. So I'm going to show you that this is these lighter areas here, they are now transparent, leaving only these textures. I will paint something in the background and you'll be able to see. Let's pick any color. As you can see, only the textures are now here. Only the textures. We are now going to apply these textures to these layers, this text layer and this design layer that is here. So let's hide this. So come back to your leaf layer. Click and hold it, then select opaque. If you see here, only the visible um, colors have been selected. Only those dark areas have been selected, leaving all the transparent areas. So you can hide this now. Hide this layer, then go to your text layer that you want to apply it to. Click and hold it, then add transparency mask. And just like that, you've applied the texture. You can also do the same to this um, non-vector layer. Let's hide this one for now. Let's go back, copy, and select opaque, then hide. Add transparency mask. As you can see, it has been applied. In case after doing this, there's a situation where um, 
the texture did not fully apply. You can also always adjust it by selecting the transparency mask using your move tool to move it around. If you click the, um, the text layer or this design layer, this one here, and try to move it around, it will move with the texture. You can't adjust it like that. You have to select your transparency mask and move it around. You can also change the size just to make sure that it fits perfectly. All the gray areas in this, they are also transparent. So we can, I will paint behind it. Oh, there's already color there. We'll just activate it. As you can see, it will show through. This text layer now, it's textured. So is this layer too. Another way in which you can add textures to an image or to a text or to um, a design is by using a, a, a blending mode called Erase. So first thing we're going to do is copy this to a new layer, select Opaque. Copy selection to new layer. Then you can hide this. So let's group this here. Let's duplicate this first because we'll add one to the text. First we group. So after you've put this, this selection here, you can deselect it now. Then just come here to your blending modes and select erase. As you can see, the textures have also been applied. It's also transparent. You can also paint behind it and it will show. We can also do this for the text. Let's hide this one. Erase. All these little textured layers here, they will erase. So it's kind of in a reverse way. Use erase, and there we go. It's been applied. As you can see, there's this white here because it's, it's, re it's the reverse of the previous version. So there might also be a situation where you, you want to apply the color of this leaf as part of the texture. So what you can do is instead of using erase mode i'm just going to undo this just set this back to normal you place this your the, what you want to apply it to on top then convert this layer into transparency mask as you can see here it has been applied let's hide sorry let's hide uh, this one yes. as you can see it has been applied here the color of the texture has been applied it's also transparent all these gray areas here they are transparent you can also do the same for the other one for this paint layer let's hide this one we'll show and then move this one on top change this back to normal then convert this layer into transparency mask and as you can see the color has been applied the color of the leaf has been applied so i hope this uh, information was useful to you and uh, if you like this video please leave a like and uh, thanks for watching bye if you have any question make sure to leave it in the comment section uh, i will try to answer it so uh, bye